Since my previous video, I've made some changes to my digital modes receiver. I had a four position rotary switch, so I put it in so I could select one of four crystals. Those that I chose were frequencies for 7 MHz RISPR, 7 MHz FT8, 7 MHz JS8, and 14 MHz FT8. I'm out here portable in a sports ground where there's much less noise than at home. I would estimate as much as 20 dB less. That should enable me to receive a lot more signals from a lot more stations. The antenna wire is an NFED about 20 metres long. Not having a transmitter with a VSWR meter with me, or even headphones to hear audio from this receiver, the only way I'll know that I'm tuned up is by looking at the level on the computer. When the level indicated is highest, it means the antenna coupler is correctly set, and at least for receiving, that will mean that I'm tuned up okay. Well, that was quick. I'm getting lots on the screen already. You should be able to see the number of call signs that appear after each 15 second block. There seems to be at least 10 or 12 lines of text. Much more than at home, where the noise level is higher. And just a reminder that all this is via a receiver with just one amplifying transistor in the signal path between antenna and the connection to the computer. I don't have the internet here, so I'm not uploading any spots, but you should get an idea of the distances from the call signs you see on the screen. I'll just flip to 14 megahertz FT8. I'll just leave it on a bit. This is 14 megahertz FT8. There's so much activity that I will just press CQ only and that will slow things down. Of course this is only a receiver so I can't come back to any of these stations. This is back to 7 megahertz and you can see the stations calling CQ. Nothing decoded on JS8, not surprising, it's only got about 1% of the activity of FT8. So the next switch will be to Whisper, again on 7 MHz. So some outstanding results, particularly with FT8. That shows that even with a simple receiver in a quiet location, you can pick up hundreds and hundreds of signals. If you want to find out more about low power amateur radio, check out my book, Minimum QRP. It's available in electronic or paperback form, and it's had many favorable reviews.